tailor design for airflow. Now, here you can see there's a lot of fans, but the fans are only hit whenever there's heat required. This has been running all day. What time do we get here? 12.30 over here. So it's been running since past 12. You can have a feel of that and it's not even hot. So this is the Z800 series? This is the Z840, yep. 800 series, okay. Yep. Now, um, so I've noticed, I've noticed this is air-cooled here and it's yep. got a Quadro K400, so yep. I, I'm pretty, I'm thinking the past HP has offered liquid cooling with some of their Z-Work stations, so is this, like, is that an option or have you, have you seen, okay, with our flagship workstation, we've, we've noticed that we can now um, accommodate it with air-cooling now and so yep. what's, what's the story of that? Um, we've actually redesigned our air-cooling. So we now only offer the air cooling solution. Um, it's more designed because we can keep it as quiet as what is required that we got with the similar with the um, liquid cooling. And the air cooling now has been redesigned, so it's a lot cooler as well. Okay, so at the moment from HP, there's no skew of liquid cooling? No, 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 no. Okay. And so that's mainly been focused about to improve the acoustic for the end user? Uh, well, it's just basically in the, in the redesign of what was, we've done with the, uh, the uh, CPU cooling. It allows us to keep these a lot similar to what a liquid cooling solution would do, but in an air cooling type of space. Okay. So this, this, so this is the flagship, and at the moment, so we've got how many expansion with the RAM, how many uh, so dim slots? 16 dim slots. Uh, as I said, you can have up to uh, three 3200s, uh, sorry, three K 5200s, uh, four hard drives. What we've really changed... And of in, course, this chassis supports the highest end NVIDIA K6000, isn't it? Absolutely. Just, you, you just have dual K6000. So, so obviously, you just you reduce the count of the cards. So if you want the higher, higher cards, you have you only settle with the two cards. It depends which way you want to go. But it is, again, if you're going to go to the 2K6000, uh, uh, that's 24 gig of video uh, memory. That's a pretty high-end system. Uh, even some of the specs that uh, John was showing before, you're still only running a single K6000. But what we have done is we've also minimised the DVD drive to a slimline bay. So it allows you to have the two full-size bays for media card readers, or if you really want to, you can actually put in more hard drives in the back of this. This box around the January time frame will be able to have 20 terabytes from factory. So on this system specifically, what's the storage option? So we have a SATA and we have the optional uh, solid state card we've described earlier. So we've got also. a solid state in this one and two solid states. Okay, so these are these are just SATA, SATA or SAS. Uh... These are just solid state uh, SATAs. Right. But you can you can configure with SAS uh, drives. Here we go. We got these are crucial micro drives. So you can configure to M550. You can configure to uh, SAS. Um, solid states, uh, SATAs, whatever you require. Full size drives, small form factor drives, whichever you require. And uh, on this, this specific on the flagship model, the networking is a gigabit or 10 gigabit? Uh, just a gigabit. Okay. And obviously you offer that as an option if people want to expect that on the build Absolutely. tool. You can also configure with Windows or Linux. And this is the power supply on this model? This is 1150 watts. Has enough power supply for the whole solution of what required. So the maximum GPU somebody can fit is if uh, what's the configuration? Dual K six thousand.